Yes, at the back. Yes. My question is, you spoke in your summation of finding a purpose and meaning of life under this canopy of life. What is the purpose and meaning under your view of life? Okay, so the question to Dr. Cook is, uh, he spoke of um, purpose or meaning, finding purpose or meaning in life and doing so without God. Um, what in his understanding is that purpose or meaning? Well, it's very simple really. It's to be able to be loved, to be a good enough person to justify somebody's love, and to be able to reciprocate that love by being able to give love to a few people and among a broader people, a range of people, to have friends, to be respected and valued as a friend. And among broader range of people again, in order to help and assist other people in the here and now to live a better life. I think this is a profound question that we all ask about the meaning and purpose in life. And I would say on an atheistic view, there is no objective purpose in life. There is no reason for which we exist. Death marks the end of all the life we will ever know. And indeed, the entire universe is doomed to destruction in the heat death of the universe. There will be no light. There will be no heat. There will be no life. Just the endless carcasses of dead stars and galaxies expanding into the infinite blackness. So that on an atheistic view, there is no purpose, there is no objective meaning, and there are no moral values. Love is merely an electrochemical reaction in the burning uh, of the, our nervous systems. Richard Dawkins has said something uh, like this. Dawkins says, we are possibly the only planet in the universe in which complex chunks of matter run, pursue others, prey upon others, and some have even become so complex as to think, feel, and fall in love with other complex chunks of matter. <laughs> That's all love is on, a, on an atheistic view, just an electrochemical reaction determined by the brain. It has no moral or ethical significance at all. 